morning everybody we're gonna get that freight off my trailer my turn is next this guy right there is gonna move out of the way I'm gonna move into the center there there was a lot of trucks in front of me today uh, I got here last night and there was seven trucks in line which is a lot so the whole driveway was plugged up I had to go park down the street in a different parking lot uh, this guy is getting out of the way now they got them all unloaded real quick quicker than I thought they would Anyway, let's get this straight off my trailer. Let's figure out what's next so we can uh, keep on keeping on keep these wheels turning So with an empty trailer now I am headed back home Leaving Brainerd, Minnesota now There may be a load that I could pick up along the way in Thief River Falls There may be a load in Fargo. Who knows? They're gonna keep looking but for now I'm headed back Seems like it's been a little bit slow the last couple of weeks. And we go through periods like that, so it's nothing to panic over. But hopefully next week is busier, right? I missed my turn. Now I'm going right through the city of Fargo. Well, this is actually Moorhead, Minnesota. The other side of the river is Fargo, North Dakota. Same city. In 300 meters, turn left on South 8th Street, US 10. Lots of construction around here. Uh, I gotta turn left up ahead here. Uh, I think I can. Oh wait, no, is this? Yeah, this is, this is where I wanna be, right? At the lights, I wanna turn left. Okay. lineup for the left turn here. What's going on? A lot of people making some left turns. Oh, there's a train over there. That's why. Just to our left. Train. Which means this light will stay red until that train is gone. I guess I should have gone straight through. Oh, well. Crazy trains and all their transportiness. Got to show off all the time. I can only pull one trailer. Oh, they can pull like a thousand. Must be nice to have all that power. system so uh, 
I can't trust the signs. I gotta look at my app. I have a special app that'll tell me uh, what my fuel price is at different locations where my cards are accepted. for me getting points at love so I can't use it on both sides flying J I can use the points on both sides of the border you have arrived at your destination on the left side it's 32nd Avenue South yeah it's the right side but we'll just ignore that yeah I can fuel up here now and then I can stop at flying J in Manitoba and get a shower later I can use my points on both sides I love that none of the other big truck stop chains have done that I think it would be in their benefit, but I'm going to pump number one right here at the door. Hallelujah. This is going to be a big one. This is going to be a big one. My tanks are like almost dry. I'm thirsty. I'm real thirsty. All right, so the numbers are in. We bought 187 gallons or 707.872 liters. Uh, my price here for the Canadians, with all conversions and everything included, was a dollar nine point four. So a dollar nine per liter. It cost me seven hundred and seventy-four dollars uh, for the U.S. Americans. It cost me three dollars and four cents. Uh, three oh four four per gallon U.S. dollars. It cost me five hundred sixty-nine dollars U.S. Now up the road in Canada. My price at the Flying J just over the border in Canada is $1.38. So with all the conversions included, by fueling here instead of down the road in Canada, just on this fuel up alone, I saved $179.80 Canadian. So an American, let's say, $179.80 CAD to USD. 179 it's not giving me the right price here there you go CAD to USD so I saved just on this fuel up in American dollars $132.10 now you know why I pushed it to get all the way here to Fargo and that fuel tank since the last time I fueled lasted me just under 2,000 kilometers or uh, 1,200 miles uh, that I can do math for you. 2,000 kilometers. It was actually 1937. So 1937 kilometers divided by 1.61. That fuel, uh, since the last time I fueled, was 1,203 miles. That's about how long that'll last me. And then I gotta fuel again. And I do about 600 miles a day, so that'll last me two days. So if I can save 132 US dollars, or 179 dollars Canadian every two days, just by fueling in the US, Manitoba prices, we're still on our fuel tax holiday. So this was 132 US dollars saved, even though, despite the fact that Manitoba has no fuel tax. So isn't that crazy? So in other provinces across Canada where the taxes are still on the fuel price, it's even higher. That's the difference in fuel prices between Canada and the US. Can anyone explain to me why? Guess what I'm spending my money down here? I would rather spend that money into my own economy. But I've got a family to feed and I'm out here to make money. I'm not running a charity. I'm here to make money. And if I can save money by fueling in the US, well, you bet I'm gonna fuel down here. Benefits our neighbors. It's a good thing we really like our neighbors and they're good people. They're taking a lot of my money. But not as much as the Canadians would.
Canada, and if I may draw your attention to the flashing sign off to the right, you will see the way station's open. I think they might be pretty impressed. I've been trying to lose some weight again. I've been on a fasting spree this week, so to speak. I finished a 24-hour fast, two of them actually, and a 37-hour fast in the last week. So I think they're gonna be pretty happy and impressed with me. The last time I was in here, they weren't, they pulled me in. They didn't believe me that I'd gotten way too heavy. I wasn't overweight legally, but they, you know, <laughs> I'm just joking. The last time I was here, I had a really low step deck, again, lower than normal, lower than the one I have now, step deck. And the air valve, uh, the air leveling valve, which controls the level of the trailer and how much air goes into the airbags. Right. Uh, that valve was hanging down uh, from what he could see where he was, a little lower than he had expected. He just wanted to see what it was. In 600 meters, turn right on 5th Street West. Karen, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to tell the story. Anyways, he saw it hanging there. He pulled me in to take a closer look at it. Turned out everything was fine. No tickets, no citation, no nothing. He just said, have a good day. Just wanted to take a closer look at it. So hopefully today everything will look fine. I have nothing on my trailer, so... Let's hope that uh, they don't pull me in. I, I mean, I just checked the trailer and the truck. I mean, there, there shouldn't be anything. You, you always get nervous though pulling into a scale. Like, did I miss something? What if I missed something? Meters, keep to the right on King Street and then turn left in 15 meters. Karen's not worried about it at all. No anxiety whatsoever in her. She's just like, just go, go, don't stop. Why are you stopping at the scale? That's so lame. Keep going. You'd think that truck GPS's would acknowledge and know that I'm at a scale, right? No. Let's see what they have to say this time. Sign says stop before entering scale. trucks here that's what I was oh it's a fun thing okay I thought there was a fire no it's like a little carnival fair thing oh cool 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 speaking of which there's a, a fair this coming weekend it's gonna be done by the time you watch this it's called the honey festival in Cleefelt Manitoba I'm gonna be there I'm gonna be in the parade with old blue so the vlog of that is coming that's on Saturday that should be fun. Meters, turn right on Montreal Avenue East, Highway 23. No, I'm going to continue up here. I'm going to take 305 across. I'm going to go up to the Flying J, stop there for a bit. All oh, these kids doing the arm pump. Yeah. Give me the arm pump, I'll deliver. Always makes my day every single time. I was already having a good day. Now I'm having a phenomenal day. See, I'm gonna go up to the Flying J in Santa Gath and uh, park there for a bit. I might even stay there the night. In Guys, meters, jaywalking. Go straight on. J that's Four jaywalking. Highway, Excuse me. Highway 75. J jaywalking. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, don't wave at me like to say you're sorry. You know the rules. <laughs> people. People. 
people, I tell you. A trucker Josh! Nobody meters. got hurt! Go straight on. Board Selkirk Highway. Highway 75. I don't care. The rules are the rules. The red hand means you don't cross. So I've been on a fast today. Uh, 24 hours. I just completed it. I had a nice uh, fruit smoothie to, to break the fast. You need to this road for 27 kilometers. And uh, I've got some pulled pork cooking in my little uh, portable oven. And it smells so good. Oh, I can't wait. All right, we found ourselves a great parking spot right down the middle of the driveway. Fantastic neighbor on this side, a neighbor on that side. We're good to go. I was watching these TikTok videos. Have you guys heard of the heard of this? What's his uh, what's his handle again? Oh man, I lost it here. I don't know if you're um, ready. He does the speed tours of the real estate. I'm gonna try to find his uh, tagline or his username here for you. There it is. Okay, Trent Miller on TikTok. Oh come on, where is he? Dollars is gonna get you in San Antonio, Texas. It's a speed tour, so let's take a look. It's a cool cabin. It's time to go. There's a beautiful view of the grass. There's no grass. And right here's the closet. Out around we go. There's a bedroom. There's a beautiful view of your neighbors. Right here's a toilet. There's a vanity. Most bathrooms have that. Most bathrooms have that. Did any of you watch his videos? I crack up so hard every time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's what sort of had me laughing as I started this video. So I'm gonna go back there, work on some of my own videos, which aren't as funny as his, but uh, <laughs> it's hard to beat that. And then I'll probably go inside, you know, have a shower and get ready for tomorrow. I wanna be ready just in case they need me to work. So far, it looks like it's pretty slow. It's been a slow week, two loads this week. Sometimes it gets slow. Other times it gets so overwhelmingly busy that we can't keep up. So this, this happens. It's just one of those weeks. Next week will be better. So hopefully there's something tomorrow. If not, I'll go home in the morning and uh, enjoy some time with the family. I'm gonna go back there right now and make some cold pork sandwiches.